guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Crown Euro Cars in St. Petersburg, Florida, because guess what? I have a special car. It's a 2020 Mercedes AMG C43. But before we dive into this mid-size sports sedan, let's talk a little bit about the C-Class. So the C-Class gave away a little bit of a hint already. It's that mid-size. It's going up against the Audi A4 S4, and then of course the BMW 3 Series. Now, this particular one that I chose has been chosen specifically because it's right in the sweet spot of the C-Class lineup. You could come in at the C300, or you could go all the way for the C, the AMG C63S. This C43 is gonna promise twin turbo power and performance, some great amenities and finishes to the interior, and a very attractive exterior. So let's go ahead dive into the C43 and see if this AMG is the one you should buy over the Audi or the BMW. Right off the bat, traditional Mercedes-Benz styling. On this particular C43, you can see we have full LED headlights, daytime running lamps, and turn signals. Really digging this split-level LED setup. A Little bit of chrome trim in there. Looks really, really clean. You drop down, they took my advice. If you're gonna put something for an air curtain, just keep it smooth. Nice flat black, it's gonna channel the air into this functional side air curtain. I like the two horizontal slots with a little bit of glass, uh, gloss black. Really gives it a nice overall look. We come across the front end. Look at how the hood kind of just cascades down into the front fascia. Really digging the flat metallic silver around that iconic emblem. You see this emblem, you could be a million miles away. There's an alien right now in another galaxy that could see this emblem, they know it's a Mercedes Benz two galaxies away from us. Flat black on the grill. Of course, the AMG badging. This is a true AMG car. It doesn't just have fancy AMG wheels and a steering wheel. This is a true AMG car. Like seeing that badge there. The grill has a nice concave look to it. Flat black, both top and bottom in the same exact design. So smart from an aesthetic standpoint to put this gloss black lower lip extension and of course, it's gonna help with channeling airflow. When we get up onto the hood, super clean lines. Look at how the front fascia extends out to a point. Love that design. And then there's a rise, which it's hard to see because this is white. Hard to see, but there's a rise to the center and then it kind of fades away. The only other two lines, one on each side, you have a peaked up fender piece that goes towards the A pillar. Now, when we come around the bend with this clean German styling, here's what we're working with wheel and tire setup. So that's an 18 inch AMG wheel. I love the metallic gray machine aluminum. Look at those calipers, four piston AMG calipers, nice bright silver caliper. Rotors are gonna be cross drilled and fully ventilated. The, the wheel is a, and tires a 225 and a 45 series sidewall. Even over here on the side, how you can see that air curtain really gives it that extra sporty styling that really is functional. Really great that they did that. Now, into the fender treatment, nice badging by Turbo. So twin turbo, four Matic. What does that mean? All wheel drive performance coming out of this C43. Gloss black on the mirror caps, really digging that lower gloss black sill extension, especially on the white. The black balances out like yin and yang. I really get it. You have a standard size sunroof. It would have been great to have the whole roof just blacked out. I think that really just would have set this white AMG C43, uh, just set it off perfect, AMG 43. But working our way back, here's your belt line. Really interesting how it kind of drops down and then fades away. A Little bit of chrome on the door handles, nice touch. As we get to the rear, I'm sure you can hear the sirens. Guess what? They know Rady's Rides is here. They want to come see us. There's a big celebration coming up, so get ready for that. At the end of the trunk, you have a nice, aggressive trunk spoiler, color match, our C43 badge. We drop down, you're gonna have full LED taillights, some chrome, the Mercedes-Benz logo, and then check out the exhaust, functional exhaust, quad tip. Two on each side. Look at that massive diffuser. This car is on fire, that's why that fire truck is coming here. That's the kind of performance you get. But we're gonna be able to hear the sound of that twin turbo V6 added the functional tips. But why don't we go ahead, since the fire truck is here, let's pop the hood so they can put the fire out that's underneath it. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have two hydraulic hood struts underneath that hood. Like it says, AMG goodness. 
I do like the engine cover, even though it's large, you have this nice bright red center section, the AMG badging. What are we looking at underneath this hood? Like I said, twin turbocharge fun. So you're looking at a three liter twin turbocharged V6, 385 horsepower, 384 pound-feet of torque. It's all routed through a nine-speed automatic transmission and traction is getting down to the ground through all four wheels because of the all-wheel drive system. Zero to 60 and a brisk, very brisk, 4.1 seconds. Top speed, which is electronically controlled, is 130 miles an hour. MPGs, not too shabby, around 20 in the city, 22 on the highway. And this is the nice thing that you get when you go full AMG, you're gonna get the styling. It's not just a styling thing, but also performance. Speaking of the performance, let's hear what this C43 sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Mercedes AMG C43. I know you're at that point where you're like, Joe, you're talking about sweet spot. I like the twin turbocharged goodness. I like the style of this AMG. How much is it? Price for this one, MSRP, the way it's optioned is $61,000. Let's see what you get for the money. Now, I love the door panel material, that dark black material, soft touch with the red AMG stitching. What I don't like and I'm gonna zonk is that brown wood grain trim. It reminds me of an old television I used to have back in the 1980s. Heated seats, but no ventilated seats is gonna be zonk number two, but you do have the optional sound system, three, three memory seat settings on the fully electric seats. I do love the way they did the armrest stitching, soft material, and that door handle. Very, very sexy door handle. You don't hear me say that very often. Large pocket for a bunch of German pastries and of course some German chocolate milk to wash it all down. If you notice, lots of room. The dash is very far forward, soft touch, the stitch work, the AC vents, the silver is very nice. Soft touch here. You got a 10 inch infotainment system screen, navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It is not a touch screen. So if you want to operate it at all, you have to use the directional wheel knob controller to go through the different settings as I am doing right now. But it is actually very easy to do. You select on vehicle, you could go into displays, change everything up. We drop down. I always love the AC vents, very aeronautical. What I don't love is this wood grain. Just stain it black. I don't even need carbon fiber and I definitely don't want gloss black. If this was a dark black stain, it looked beautiful. Love the AC controls, dual climate of course. You got your start stop button conveniently placed, your Mercedes Benz analog clock. We open up door number one. What do we have in here? We have wireless charging, a USB, two cup holders. Well, technically an ashtray and a cup holder. I like to put Mike and Ike's in here. Since I don't smoke, I've just put Mike and Ike's in there. Nice little stool, you can take it with you and pop your Mike and Ike's. Here's your key fob, very slim, very trim, nothing on the back. No remote mode start or anything like that, but the good news is it's not gonna poke you in the groin. Put that in there. Here's that directive drive knob control I was telling you about. You have active exhaust, and then you could go into your different settings here, which I'm gonna have Tom show you on the screen. So if we hit our dynamic switch, here's where we could go in our different modes. Individually, the Bon Jovi mode, slippery when wet. We keep going, and you could go through a plethora of different, you have comfort of course, sport, sport plus, we're gonna leave it in sport plus, that's gonna be my favorite. How about backup camera? We'll throw this into reverse. There we are, we have full 360, and you got your trajectory and all those goodies right there, which is really nice. Put it back in the park. As we keep working our way to the back, this is fairly soft for a German vehicle, the stitch work is great, bombs away. You could put easily 13 Twinkies just by laying them down, two more USBs, which is great and the seats are right out of a race car. Love the stitching, Alcantara, nice bolstering both at the top and the bottom. And then of course you have to have your obligatory red seat belt. Very nice, especially, look how they, they match very well with the seat and the seat belt. And then you have your standard size sunroof, which is a really nice touch. But why don't you come over behind the business end? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this AMG C43. All right guys, business time, you have your AMG badge that's gonna welcome you every time. You have your brushed aluminum brake pedal and throttle pedal, which is really nice. Got your little traction bits on there so you don't slip. And then like I was saying, six feet tall, I got plenty of headroom in here. Bolstering is nice. 
bolster on the bottom is not too uh, high at all, so don't worry about that. Steering wheel, though, is right out of a Formula One car. Flat bottom, love the AMG badging. You got your thumb controls. Two large paddles to go up and down that automatic transmission. And then, of course, to wrap it all off, you're gonna have your full D, uh, TFT digital display, 12 inch display, looks great. You could toggle through all sorts of different functions there. And then going back to the steering wheel, I just love the material, especially how they put the red band so you know where top dead center is. Even the stitch work and everything over the hood, very classy. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out that back seat and see how your passengers are gonna be loving it as you're carving corners in your local neck of the woods. All right, guys, back seat time. You know what, getting in and out isn't a big deal. It is a little tight, especially if you're six feet tall on headroom in here. I'm not touching the headliner, but it's pretty close. You do have pockets on the back of the seat. You can put an abacus in there, a book, back scratcher. You have your two AC vents nicely placed, just like you do up front. Plenty of knee room, which is great. And then armrests, look at that. Fill that up with Skittles. And then you got your two cup holders. My only question is, will this fit a Super Slurpee? Because right now I want a Cherry Cola Super Slurpee. I don't know if it's gonna fit. We'll have to find out. Put that back. Let's go ahead and check out the trunk space and see how much room we have in this C43. All right guys, time to see what junk we can put in the trunk. Real easy, you push the button, has a nice electric assist. Really wide opening, which is great. Of course, you could fold down the seats. Now, if you want hard numbers, let me give you hard numbers. You're looking at over 12.6 cubic feet of space. That's gonna help make this C43 more livable every day as you're picking up the kids, going to the grocery store, or just going on a nice trip. Maybe go out in the mountains and enjoy the twisty roads out there. But we'll push that, that closes very nicely. If you're ready, I'm definitely ready. Let's take this AMG C43 for a spin. All right guys, we're in the 2020 AMG C43. Right away, I love the seats in here. These seats, very supportive, have just enough bolstering up top to make life interesting. Steering wheel is really the cherry on top of this interior. Has great thickness. The look of it is just absolutely amazing. And the paddles on the back of the steering wheel are a great size. Dash, easy to read, easy to understand. It's just the brown, the brown wood in here just doesn't fit this car. This car is about sport, it's about performance, and yet there's this dark brown wood trim. If it was black, stained black, it'd be spot on the money, it'd be perfect. But seats feel good, armrests are at the perfect height, and up front, there's no issues with a headroom in here. The TFT display, that 12 inch display is absolutely gorgeous. It's just every time I go to the center, that's when I see the brown wood and I get turned off really fast. But I have my red seatbelt on, so I know I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's see how acceleration goes on throttle. Lean on automatic mode, here we go. Nice. Now it puts a smile on your face when you hear that exhaust. I have it in Sport Plus mode. Nice, smooth acceleration. Great weight to the steering. That's what I like. And of course, when you're in Sport Plus, that's gonna adjust how the transmission and the engine behave. But that's when the car comes alive. So, very happy to know that when it comes to the noises, it's making the right noises and you're feeling good behind the wheel. All right, guys, once again, slow roll on throttle. We're off and running, put you back in the seat. I love the pop from the exhaust. Love the pop, every time it shifts, look at this. Nice, super controllable, super duper smooth, super smooth. Brake pedal feels great, and this doesn't have carbon ceramic rotors, doesn't even have six piston calipers. Um, four piston caliper, great feedback. The car speaks to you very, very well, and I like that, I really do like that. I wanna see how she handles through a little bit of twisty bit section. But I'm telling you, you feel right at home behind the wheel of this car to just, just carve up those corners. You really do. Pulling out again, super smooth. The pops, I'm telling you, even at a slow speed, you get these nice pops from the back, which sound phenomenal. Really just makes the whole driving experience that much better. All right guys, let's see how she handles through some twisty bits on throttle. Nice sound from that exhaust. On the brakes. Look at this, this is great. Back on throttle, here we go. All wheel drive keeping us planted. 
love the feedback. Back on the brakes, feeling good. Into this left hand bend. Nice, there you go. <laughs> I really love the way the exhaust just brightens up the whole experience in here. It makes it almost like a totally different car. That's how much fun just having a little bit of extra noise coming from the back. Transmission shifts super smooth, really knows where and when to shift just right. I mean, it would have been nice to have a little bit more braking capability. Um, I felt like the Four piston calipers were just a little overloaded, but remember, this is a C43, not a C63, so I could understand where that's coming from. But overall, man, I'm telling you, if you want to come in to the C Class and have that performance without spending almost $80,000, this C43 does bring plenty of excitement. All right, guys, once again, on throttle. Nice. I'm telling you, very stable at speed, quiet inside the cabin, and you just feel comfortable. Like, I feel like I could drive this car all day long, which is great. But hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel of what the C43 is about. We're gonna get back to Crown Euro cars and wrap this one up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, another great day here at Crown Euro Cars. Definitely gotta thank Nicole and the rest of the crew getting us yet again another AMG product. Having this C43 really shows where you could be in the sweet spot of that midsize luxury sports sedan segment of their lineup. Is this the car to get over an Audi or a BMW? I don't know, it definitely really fights and competes very highly with those other two. So you definitely wanna get behind the wheel and see for yourself. But if it's vehicles like these that you wanna keep seeing on the channel, Leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Gotta get out to Big Guns McGee, Tom Moshner. He's from Germany. So every time we do a Mercedes-Benz product, it always reminds him I'm home. So I'm glad I could take you home, Tom. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.